Enjoy all three services from the cable. The quality of their service is very excellent. The internet service is great. And I talk all day on my freedom call. The cable strip for play. We pride ourselves on delivering quality. The best internet service. We make it easy to stay in touch. The cable strip for play. Take all three services from the cable and enjoy 10% off your cable bill. The cable. Money for which we are gathered today was simple. Marks a significant step forward in improving the efficiency of our port operations. For many years, our ability to conduct container operations at a high level of efficiency has been hampered by a weed stacker that had outgrown its usefulness and was functioning on extended time. Thanks to the generous donation of $810,000 EC or $300,000 US dollars from the government of Taiwan through the resident ambassador. Last month, we were able to purchase a new cone crane weed stacker at a cost of $1,555,275.70. Weed stackers are indispensable pieces of equipment because of their flexibility and high stacking and storage capacity compared to forklifts and lift trucks. Weed stackers are able to move containers from vessel to a place of rest or vice versa. They're also very loud, as you can tell. They can transport containers in short distances very quickly and pile them in various rows on chassis. The starter that we have acquired has been customized to meet our needs for loading, stacking, and unloading empty and laden containers. It can stack empty containers up to five heights, we only have three displayed today, and full containers up to three heights. The stacker can lift up to 45 tons, which is more than adequate for our demand, as most containers that we receive do not weigh more than 28 tons. The modern cone crane weed stacker has been designed to cater to the needs of the operator. Special attention has been paid to the design of the operator's cab. According to the manufacturers, their machines probably have the best cabs on the market in terms of visibility, ergonomic design, and comfort. The cab is designed so that the operator can easily reach all the controls and checks and functions at a glance, and the rubber-mounted cab protects the driver from vibrations. The stacker is designed with five computers that will serve as internal instructors to the operator and the mechanic. Combined, all these features will result in more efficient and safe operations. Although this is a ceremony to commission the new stacker, I must take this opportunity to announce that last month we also acquired two new trucks. The new trucks, along with the new stacker, will reduce our turnaround time, a critical factor in determining the efficiency of a port, hence its ability to attract and retain cargo vessels. We will now be able to serve our ships and consignees in a more timely manner, avoiding the lengthy delays that plague our operations because of a stack of frequent mechanical problems and inadequate trucks in poor conditions. We made a commitment that we would raise our level of efficiency and productivity and so enhance our customer service. And I'm delighted to report that we're delivering on our promise. It is now time to officially commission our new stacker. I now therefore invite you to observe the equipment in action as our operator demonstrates a few container movements.
which we attend by congratulation on the 28th anniversary of the independence of the Federation of St. Kitts and the Nevis. The stagger is the best gift for the birthday of the country. Mm. Uh, which will follow on the 19th of this month. Also, I would like to say congratulations to you, especially Mr. Skerritt, for the launching of the newspaper which was recently purchased. Thank you for inviting me to be a part and on board of this undertaking. We are all aware that tourism is a very important and integrated part of our lives. St. Kitts and Nevis have all the potential and is considered number one in tourist destination and all of us are proud of this achievement. I must therefore applaud the effort of Minister Skerritt and your sterling team. Your great efforts are bringing forth fruition. I share the feat with all of you dedicated to tourism. I still recall the day when our robots carried, accompanied by Chairman Maynard and the CEO Crossman, visit the embassy after my first arrival to St. Kitts Nevis and mentioned about the old staker showing signs of wear and tear and updating the post statement. I'm cognizant that you're urging the need, the new staker, so as to keep your commercial harbor operational. It is the most needed equipment of your economic activity of the port. And all the Chinese saying goes, it is necessary to have effective tools to do good work. I sincerely hope that the installation of the new staker will not only lift the handling capacity of your seaport, but also it will facilitate the progress of your country's economy. The staker will assist the port to achieve maximum potential, especially with the container inbound and outbound. I am reliably informed that the staker usually has 1,230 mokmen per month. That is a significant amount of a cargo service for this beautiful Twin Island country. Today, on behalf of the government, Republic of China, Taiwan, I feel proud to be able to share with you as one of the stakeholders in this meaningful procurement for your seat port. At the meantime, I would like to assure to Minister Skerritt Taiwan will continue the commitment for advancement of your people's well-being in this new era. Finally, I'm so happy to witness the mechanism of the new step. I would like to say the big machine is working. Honorable Richard Skerritt, Minister of Tourism and International Transport, to share with us his remarks. In the nearly seven years that I've had the privilege to serve as a minister in this government, I've had a number of very pleasant uh, opportunities to observe and, in some cases, uh, facilitate the wonderful partnership that this country has with the people and government of the Republic of China and Taiwan. And although 300,000 US dollars might seem like a tremendous amount of money to most of us, as about 50% of the cost of this piece of important equipment, it pales in comparison with the literally hundreds of millions of dollars worth of investment that has flowed in our direction from the government and people of the Republic of China in the 28 years of our independence. And I want to take this opportunity to say a special thank you on behalf of the Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Denzel Douglas, 
and his cabinet colleagues, and the entire government and country of St. Kitts and Nevis, to the people of the Republic of China and Taiwan, through your, your good selves from the embassy uh, ambassador, to say on the 20th uh, independence celebrations how fitting it is that we should be on the receiving end of another important gift to our country from your people. Thank you so much. The ambassador reflected on a visit nearly a year ago to his office by Chairman Maynard, CEO Crosman, and myself. We actually didn't go there to ask for support for this staff. We went there for what was, in many respects, a much more expensive reason. Because the government of the Republic of China and Taiwan has also been one of the major creditors to SCASPA, uh, indirectly perhaps through the Ministry of Finance, but significantly in the development in 2006 into 2007 of the expansion of the RLB Airport Park in April. That was a that was only possible because of a significant loan, um, somewhere between 15 and 20 million US dollars, forgive me if I don't have the exact figure, from the government that is so ably represented here by Ambassador Sao. And as we were, uh, over the course of last year, going through the process of planning for the restructuring and reorganization of SCASPA, it was brought to my attention by the chairman and his team that one of the uh, tactics that was integral to, to the overall strategy would be to approach the government of the Republic of China and Taiwan for, to reorganize the, that particular loan. And we had had the blessings of the Ministry of Finance to do so. And so I set up, with the help of uh, my permanent secretary, who was actually brand new in the job at the time, one of our first tasks was to set up a meeting with the newly arrived ambassador, and we thought that perhaps we could get him at uh, his most generous uh, state, having just arrived. We've since discovered that he's just generous all the time. But it was a very good meeting, and during the course of the meeting, as we began to discuss and talk about the possibilities and ask him, in fact, we had to go about a process of obviously bringing his awareness up because he was brand new. But uh, I suddenly got this note being stuck at me on the table, so to speak, by the CEO, who suggested that perhaps I could uh, ask him to fund the cost of, of the stacker. Because as you can understand at that time, Skaspo was uh, in very deep cash flow problems, as we are still facing to a certain extent, but climbing out steadily. And in his very calm and uh, professional style, the ambassador agreed that he would consider it. The rest is history. But a few weeks ago, we had the privilege in a small ceremony at his office to accept from his government a check to the value of 300,000 US dollars, which represented 50% roughly of the cost of the stacker. And with some footwork and mirrors, uh, the chairman and the CEO were able to raise the balance of the money. So thank you very much for this investment.